Uh, uh, I'm a Wiccan. You're a Wiccan. What does that mean? Yes, I do. I do. Uh, it's not dark. I do positive witchcraft. I still don't believe in a god. I do believe in spirits, though. And I do believe in the dead have a way of talking to the living. And I do believe in that you can communicate with them if you know how. And it, yeah, that's what I believe in. Wicca and witchcraft. Oh, okay. So how do you um, how do you communicate with dead people? I usually do it through candles or incense. So like you could look up something called the language of candles. Basically, left means no, right means let, uh, right means yes. If it parts two different ways, etc. Like the flame on it, mm -hmm. um, or like incense, the same thing. If it stays still. That means someone's present and like Ouija boards are a way to do it, but Ouija boards are kind of dark um, and they're risky. So I don't do Ouija boards, mm -hmm. but yeah. And I'll like make spell jars for my friends with good intent. I did a Ouija board one time and um, I didn't feel like anything different happened. What's the explanation for that? Like, well, I don't think anything different happened it could be than made like a normal, wrong. There are certain things that normal experience. Yeah. Sometimes they different. Well, sometimes you don't feel anything. Usually, uh, nothing should really go wrong unless someone takes their fingers off before you end it. And you're never supposed to play alone. If you play alone, that's bad. That means it's gonna fucking follow you, and that's not good. Um, usually, it targets one person uh, who either took fingers off or they're pushing it. Um, but if you didn't do either one of those things, you should be fine and you're not really supposed to feel anything. You're just supposed to get answers. But if you do feel something that's a little bad, that means you're kind of targeted like you did something wrong. I didn't get any answers. I didn't, um, like nothing happened. The board didn't move. The, the thing didn't move on the board. Yeah. Anyway. Maybe I'll yeah. Try so it again. usually that's because the things. Yeah, usually it's because it's made wrong. So, like, if it's, like, cardboard or something, that doesn't usually work. You got to write everything in the perfect spot, and uh, it depends on the materials you're using. I don't know the details. I'd have to look it up, but you have to use the right materials for it. Like, you can't just use, like, a bottle cap or whatever. Hmm, interesting. So, how many deceased people have you spoken with? I think two. be wrong, but by a hunch, I think two. Usually the deceased that choose to speak to you, they knew you in the living. Uh, so like my past grandpa and my aunt that I never got to meet, uh, since we're related, I figured that that's probably those two. Uh, there could be another one. Sometimes it's hard to tell because they choose not to do anything to establish their presence. Uh, but usually what they do is like tapping or I've noticed like foggy mirrors. They'll put like a message in that. Or like if you have carpet with long... Uh, that goes deep you can see like footprints show up and I think it's really interesting uh, a lot of people are scared by it but it's just if it's bad intentions you get a bad vibe and what I do is I put a line of pink Himalayan salt under my door and any spirits with bad intentions can't get past that and you so you saw like the imprints on the carpet yeah, I believe I saw the imprints on the carpet. I'm really sure about that. And like the foggy mirrors, sometimes there'll be like lines going down that are unexplainable. Uh, handprints on foggy mirrors. They can't really pick up inanimate objects. So you never really get like something knocking over. So that's just in movies. Usually it's just like the carpet, like gravity or like wind. Like if they're near you, then like, you know how you get that show where it's like you're hot and cold at the same time and you can't figure it out? Mm-hmm. That usually means that there's someone there. Ah, okay. And then you said also by like the way candles move in a specific direction, you can tell um, if someone's there? Or is that them saying yeah. something specifically? Uh, it can be something specific. If the flame is towards you, like if it's pointing towards you, that means they either want or need something. And mm. it's really, really difficult to communicate with them and get straight answers because a lot of them can't give you straight answers. But it's just like you have to deal with like metaphors. So like if they do choose to like move something, it depends on what the thing is. It's really hard to piece it together. That's why it's easier if you know the spirit because then you know their personality and what they might be trying to say. But it's really difficult to talk to them. So that's why most people are just scared of it and they don't understand it. But I feel like you just like a lot of people just got to give it a chance because I have a lot of friends who say that they've experienced the paranormal activity. I don't consider it to be paranormal. 
it's just spirits and like past people and they're freaked out by it and they shut them out but usually i think the better reason is to like open them in because they're usually relatives or something like that interesting have you heard an audible um voice from uh, the deceased yes, when you're doing but these um... i really i can tell you if it was real because i have schizophrenia oh, okay. so it could just be my schizophrenia i can't tell the difference Oh, okay. Yeah, that would that would make that difficult. So, how did you arrive at like? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I was. How did you arrive at the idea that um, you can communicate with the dead? Like, did that start with um, a religious idea, or do you feel like you came to that conclusion independent of any religious ideas? I definitely feel like I came to it on my own because I like. Other than my schizophrenia, like, the reason I can distingu distinguish the difference is because my schizophrenia is mild. It's usually only sounds. But if I have someone there with me that say they saw the same thing happen, then I know I'm not seeing things. Like, doors will shut or they'll open or they'll move slowly. That's a big one. And it happened. It started happening when I was, like, really little, like, around six. And I named her Sally. She ended up being my, quote, imaginary friend. Mm. But then I noticed later on in my life when she was still around, she really would do like on foggy mirrors and stuff i go this has got to be real because i'm not seeing this i can touch it i can feel it it's there and mm. i got into wicca and i genuinely believe it very cool very cool well um thanks for sharing that with me